I'm here to show a different type of tuning for a four string banjo to give you more of a five string sound. Uh, this is a 22 fret plectrum long neck banjo. It's left handed. Uh, that's why it looks pointing that direction. And uh, I've been playing guitar for so long that whenever I finally decided I wanted to learn how to play banjo, I got me a five string banjo and tried to play it and I just couldn't grasp the high note being on the top where your thumb is. After playing all the years, you always thought that the high note's down on this end and not up here. So uh, yeah, it took me a long time to play uh, a song because I just had to rechange my whole way of thinking and have the high note up top. This kind of tuning that I have on this banjo here is more common sense to a guitar player. Uh, I got it tuned in E, B, E, B, and the last two E, Bs are an octave lower. Uh, most bluegrass banjos are tuned in the key of G, so I took the E tuning and moved it up three frets with a capo. Now it's G, D, G, D. So that gives you uh, basically the same notes twice except an octave different. But that opens up a whole new way of playing. Uh, and doing rolls where you can use a pick uh, and play it like this. You add some hammer-ons and pull-offs and you get it. So it's kind of a neat kind of tuning. Uh, I can play like Cripple Creek on this pretty easy. Uh, probably within 15 20 minutes, I figured out Cripple Creek on it. So, uh... so that's my method for. Uh, playing bluegrass on a Dixie land style banjo and no matter which kind of banjo you have somebody always comes up and asks you to play some uh, bluegrass so I learned a different tuning method so I can play some bluegrass on my Dixie land banjo I hope it helps you too